here's your task for today. I want you to come up with a word problem that fits this expression. So I have 3 fourths take away 1 half. Many times students want to try and say something like, I have 3 fourths of the pizza left, I now give half of what's left to my friend, how much do I have? However, the problem with that scenario is that if you're talking about having three-fourths of the pizza and you give half of it away, you're actually needing to do multiplication. I want you to give this a try, but actually draw it out. So let's just start, before we even make a story problem to go with it, let's start by drawing what this would look like. Remember, a huge hint when we talk about modeling fractions is to always use rectangles, so I'm going to use that. So first, I want to draw out 3 fourths. You can see that I've now shaded 3 fourths in my rectangle. This is my minuend. It's what I'm starting with. Okay, so I have 3 fourths of something, and I need to take away 1 half. It's actually really easy to see when I'm looking at it here. Oh, well, if I'm just taking away 1 half, that means that I need to take that away. I'm subtracting that, which is going to leave me with this piece right here. What is that piece? It's one fourth. Let's just double check this using the traditional method of making common denominators. You can see that when I make common denominators, I know that I can do fourths. So I have three fourths minus two fourths, which is the equivalent fraction to one half, which leaves me with one fourth. So three copies of a fourth minus two copies of a fourth leave me with one copy of a fourth. Likewise, you can see I've erased this half that I've removed or subtracted, leaving me with just this piece, which is one fourth. Now that I know what my model is gonna look like, now let's come up with a word problem. You can actually use any topic or idea that you want. I'm gonna use a gas tank. If I say that I start with three fourths of my gas tank filled, while I'm driving around the city of Phoenix, I use one half of the tank of gas. How much gas do I have left in the tank? Let's just double check that my word problem works. So again, I start out with three fourths of a tank of gas. So here's my tank, three fourths of a tank of gas. As I'm driving around the city, I use one half of a tank of gas. So there is my half that I used. How much gas do I have left in my tank? I have one fourth of a tank of gas. Let me show you one that would not work. Let me show you what a model would look like of that problem that I told you at the beginning. So I have three fourths of a pizza left over. I give half of the leftover pizza to my friend. Let me show you a model for this one. I still have three fourths of the pizza left over. So far, my drawing looks similar to my gas tank, right? However, here's where it gets tricky. When I say that I give half of the leftover pizza to my friend, now I'm actually needing to cut this in half. So this piece goes to my friend, this piece goes to my friend, this piece goes to my friend. So now those are gone. What do I have left? Well, I have this guy, this guy, and this guy. Well, technically, that would be three copies of one eighth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three copies of one eighth or three eighths. You can see how this actually does not model three fourths minus one half. Let's look at a problem using addition. So I've got the expression two thirds plus one fourth. Again, you might want to start with drawing the picture first before you even think about the word problem. Let's give it a shot. You can see that I've drawn both of my add-ins here. So I have two-thirds and one-fourth. Because this is addition, notice that I'm not erasing like I was with subtraction. I'm adding them together, right? So now what I need to do is I realize that I don't have the same size pieces. Oh, and one other note. Notice that my units are the exact same size, or they're supposed to be don't kill me on my art skills. So I need to break, I need to make sure these are all the same size pieces so that I can add them together. I know that I can split each one of these copies of a third into four equal pieces. 
I now see that I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And eight copies of 1 12th are shaded. So I have 8 twelfths here. Down here, I know that I can partition each copy of a fourth into three equal size pieces. This will also give me twelfths. Just to double check, let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I see that I have three copies of a twelfth shaded in my model here. So now I'm only dealing with copies of a twelfth and I look to see how many copies of one twelfth are shaded all together. I know I have eight up here, nine, 10, 11. So eight twelfths plus three twelfths gives me 11 twelfths. And I can think about this in terms of making common denominators, right? I know that I'm gonna get 12, so multiply both the numerator and the denominator by four, which would give me eight twelfths, which is the equivalent fraction for two thirds. And then I could multiply one fourth times uh, the, the numerator and the denominator by three as well, which would give me three twelfths. Now that I know the answer, let me go ahead and try and put a word problem to this. Now, I know lots of people love to use pizzas and pies for fractions. I'm gonna think outside the box and go back to my gas tank example for a minute. Let's say that I have a motorcycle and I add two thirds of a gallon of gas into my motorcycle. I then add another one fourth of a gallon of gas into my motorcycle. How many gallons of gas did I add into the tank in my motorcycle? Well, I know that I added 11 twelfths of a gallon of gas in my motorcycle. Hopefully now you've got some strategies on how to tackle these writing a word problem to match an expression. I always recommend drawing a model first. Don't forget your units always need to be the same size when you draw a model. You also wanna think about, am I erasing, subtracting, taking away, or am I adding, am I combining them together? You also wanna think about that. You should now have some tools in your tool belt that you can write your own word problems for adding and subtracting fractions.